What's up, guys? It's Chubboy Sanch here with another fitness and supplement video vlog type thing. So if you guys want to stick around and listen to my rambling, stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're just finishing up at the gym today. It was chest and a little bit of ow, triceps. I am bloated and exhausted. So we had our command sergeant major from our division come here today for work, which for me, it's a big deal. Um, he's pretty high up there on the Mr. Important chain. And, uh, and it was good. He talked a lot. He did a lot of talking about mentoring and leadership and success. So that was really cool. I really did enjoy him coming down and mentoring to us. Fitness side of the house, we did chest day and triceps. It was okay. We put up uh, two, 225 for three or four reps and then we put it up for two reps. So we didn't really, we weren't doing too good on that one. Uh, my shoulder, my left one, it just really kills right now. Um, I don't know if it's something to do with like the impingement or whatever it's got going on right now because it hurts. But uh, we might have to take might have to take it easy for a little bit. Focus on our diet. Speaking of not focusing on the diet, we had about four days that were really good. We were tracking the food real well, and then now we have about four days of not so good tracking, not so good eating. The um, the nutrition's just off. Um, I had uh, like a pulled barbecue pork sandwich for lunch. And lunch was around 2 o'clock, almost 3. Coming here at 4, 4.30 to work out. Very, very bloated. Did not perform well in the gym. Constantly burping. Bloated in general. Just not, not enjoyable, not optimal, not what I want. So we're going to have to crawl back into dialing in that diet. Um, the girl I was seeing um, pretty much like fell off the face of the earth and I haven't seen her in a while and we hardly talk so people and their music um so I got like I got the food for her at the house still and I keep nibbling on it so like cereal and granola bars things like that and that's naughty so I need to stop nibbling nibbling so I need to stop nibbling on those and focus more on the diet because that's what's really important you know at the end of the week if i don't see progress i'm not satisfied i'm not happy with myself and i'm not happy with the progress or lack thereof as you can tell it is very hot here uh well for missouri at least we went from it snowing two days ago to now it being 80 degrees and me dying in my car so that's exciting uh, yesterday we took Universal Nutrition's Animal Fury pre-workout, and today we went back to The Curse uh, by Cobra Labs. I do enjoy this pre-workout. It's amazing, and for the price, you really can't beat it, except for clinical dosage, except for clinical dosing. Of course, it is not up to snuff for that, but for the price, you can almost look it over. Um, besides that, we are... Not really going to talk about too much more today. Uh, we might do a little bit more at the house. But besides that, you guys are going to be seeing... What video is going up today? Uh, one of the shirts or supplement reviews is going to be going up today. So look out for that. I have been posting these last two days in a row. So that is cool. That is exciting. I want to get on like an every other day basis because I feel like that would build better consistency and it would allow me to make better content for you guys. At the same time, when I make a video, usually it sits on the burner for a couple days while I'm editing the other ones, you know, so I like to have videos done ahead of time, but that always doesn't happen. So we kind of got to work with what we got when we get it. And one last thing. Uh, you guys heard me talking about the hydroxycut drops. That's this right here. It's actually pretty cool. Literally, it all it is is caffeine with some extra stuff in here, I think, for flavor. But that's all it is. 
Merit number one weight loss supplement. Uh, you got to remember it's pretty much they're just shooting caffeine in you before your meals to help you metabolize, burn that fat, burn the food, however that works. I did take this this morning. I took a squirt for about like maybe, you know, two seconds. You know, I just squirted in there and it was, it was good. Like I took this before I did soccer this morning and I got about halfway through it. You know, soccer, you know, back and forth, back and forth, uh, intense cardio for the most part, sustained over a long period of time. It was, you know, it was good. It wasn't, it wasn't too much, but it was enough to keep me dialed in. It was enough to keep me, especially awake on the drive there. That was really the, the main intent for taking this at the same time. You know that those added benefits of having caffeine in your system while you exercise you know you can't can't go wrong with that so we're gonna leave that there uh gonna do a drive home check on rx muscle see what they posted today and check up on next strength and power and that's pretty much it i stopped watching louis marco pretty much just because i just feel like he's just a whiny little bitch um well i stopped watching I stopped watching Louis Marco um, pretty much just because like the drama that he had with RX Muscle. Um, RX Muscle is the shiz, the bees knees. The amount of information and content they come out with is amazing. And Louis Marco is pretty much just a tiny dude that barely lifts that sits behind his desk and gossips and talks makes videos and shares his opinion kind of like me because obviously i don't lift because i look like crap um so i guess that's my two cents on louis marco i did love him at first you know i loved the the whole sayings and stuff him and the hodge twins and all those guys um elk intensity elliot holes well elliot holes is on a whole nother level um but i listened i listened to all those guys I pretty much just do Nick Strength and Power, RX Muscle, and Elliot Hulse right now. But with Elliot Hulse and his whole holistic life thing, I mean, that's kind of weird, the hippie stuff. But uh, it looks like he's coming back from that. He shaved his head. He's looking normal. Uh, he's still very enlightened, very woke, the way he talks. But he's kind of getting back to the roots you know, talking with us and answering our questions, things like that. So that's cool. I do love his videos. I love his content. And, okay, this is the last thing. Uh, if you guys have not heard of the art of manliness, you need to check it out, guys. Mostly guys, but it could be applicable to girls in some contexts. They used to make YouTube videos, and it looked like they were really good. Uh, but they do have a website. They have an app. And you definitely need to check out their podcasts. So Art of Manliness podcasts are phenomenal. The The content is good. Uh, it, it's, it's great. So um, obviously people don't know how to talk indoors or just have regular talking voices because they have to walk by here yelling. I don't know. Kansas City for you. So that'll be it for us today, guys. Uh, if we make another video when we get home, then we will. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. What's up, guys? It's Chubboy Sanch here with another fitness supplement dish video. In today's episode, I want to talk about this new tripod I got here. Now, this is their Amazon Basics tripod. Try three legs. Um, it's nice, it's affordable. We're gonna minimize everything because you guys get some crazy glare when I have stuff up. All right, so I like I like it so far. The one thing um, I'm gonna need to figure out is exactly where to put it. Um, this one's a lot taller than the last one, so I can't just prop it up on the desk. Uh, it's actually on the ground. Um, and if you guys haven't noticed, I took the lens off because with the lens, it just made the video much bigger. Um, so we're just going to kind of, we're going to kind of play with this video and figure out, you know, what looks best. Um, make sure you guys comment below and tell me 
what you guys think for um, the video because I'm trying to figure it out and I'm also trying to keep the supplement stack in the back now I am <laughs> one of these days uh, you guys got to keep me accountable for it but one of these days I'm gonna go to Home Depot we're gonna get the tack board so that we can start tacking up our supplements that we reviewed um, you know just like for like uh, all maxes yeah all max quick max quick mass quick mass <laughs> uh, sorry it's a meme um, so we'd actually tack up the supplements we've done on the tack board and you know maybe even later down later down the road I have this big white wall right in front of us um, we might actually do something where um, we could list out you know number one protein number two number three number four all the way like no our top ten our top ten isolates our top ten concentrates top ten mass gainers you know just like start start actually rating things because um, when we first started the reviews uh, way back when the whole two or three months ago um, we actually were giving them you know like blendability one through ten flavor one through ten transparent label one through ten uh, things like that now I do want to revisit that avenue I want to revisit that idea but right now we're just kinda we're kinda going a little raw dog and just giving you guys my opinion on the supplements and how I like them and and all that jazz um, now if you guys remember from me being super excited about March I was gonna use all these uh, ingredients raw ingredients and mix them together make my own pre-workout um, we were gonna make a boatload of NutriKey videos um, which we're still going to uh, it's on the back burner but we just need to organize the office a little bit uh, I think I'm still waiting on my taxes so once my tax returns come in I think I might buy a nicer desk to put in here besides this rickety flimsy thing I got from Office Max no it's nice it's good for gaming but it's not that great for presentation and it doesn't make me feel very professional so that's you know that's something um, getting on three minutes I don't want to be on my soapbox too long uh, I know a lot of you guys especially some buddies I talked to on discord said you know they'll look at a video and see 10 minutes and be like yeah I'm not gonna watch that I'm like well, okay so how can I keep you guys locked into a video but yet still be able to cover all my ideas and my ramblings I want to do in a day so that's something um, I can't remember if I talked about this before but my my Valio belt weightlifting belt came in I left it in the car uh, it if you guys have ever been to subs.com's gym 24-hour gym subs in Boscobel Wisconsin Boscobel um, they have a I think it's a four inch lifting belt maybe a five inch lifting belt and it has a, a plastic clip and it's velcro with plastic clip so it's not just velcro over like a metal ring it's got a metal or a plastic clip that holds it down so it's kind of has the idea of like a hinging mechanism like a real heavy duty powerlifting or strongman belt but it's just velcro now I did like the one that they had there so much that I ordered one unfortunately I ordered the six inch one so it's a little um, it's a little big on the back um, but I like it right now uh, I, of course once I get more into a structured routine instead of just bro lifting right now um, we'll actually start using a belt you know uh, incorporating actual deadlifts into the exercise um, good squats you know we are building up to um, doing reps of two plates right now along with reps for bench two plates uh, this is something we are doing right now uh, we can do that weight so that's nice so uh, just gonna transition into another thing um, you know I've talked about my shoulder my left shoulder how I complain about it it hurts um, it has uh, it, it hurts when I work out um, now this is something I'm gonna have to address eventually um, I am going to need some sort of therapy, even if it's not to the extent of actually going to um, a military hospital and going through steps. That might be something I have to do, but at this point, um, just stretching it right now um, and then warming it up properly. But I, 
I've hurt this shoulder before pressing, overhead pressing, and uh, I re-injured it again a few weeks ago, over pressing, overhead pressing on the Smith machine. Um, just so you guys know, I jacked the crap out of this wrist doing a Smith machine, and now I hurt my shoulder again on a Smith machine. So, I don't care what you guys want me to do, I don't care what kind of exercise it is, I don't care what professionals do it, I will never touch a Smith machine for the rest of my life. I'm done. I've hurt myself plenty of times. There's no reason to re-injure myself again. And honestly, there's so much better there's so much better equipment. There's so many better ways of doing exercises that you don't even need to do a Smith machine. That's just for auxiliary movements, or uh, you could supplement that in for a squat. But I wouldn't recommend it. I'd much rather you guys do maybe a goblet squat. Or, uh, I can't remember if it's a Ragdo squat or um, Ripito squat or uh, who it was named after, one of them guys. Uh, but you actually put the barbell in the corner, um, what do you want to call it? T-bar row corner, like the sleeve on the ground. You know what I'm talking about, slide the barbell in there, lock it in if you want. Uh, you can actually squat there by resting the bar on your hands like this, kind of like a, bo a goblet squat but it, uh, it actually translates the weight differently because you're pushing forward. I've heard that it's actually very beneficial for you. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check that out. Um, last thing, let's, uh, let's grab a pre-workout. Let's grab a supplement. Let's grab a supplement to review tomorrow. Uh, what are you guys feeling? Aminos? Uh, protein? Pre-workout? You guys are always feeling pre-workouts. Let's... Uh, Let's mix it up. Let's do, hmm. <laughs> All right, let's do, well, I don't know. I've already done another mass gainer shake. Let's do, all right, yep, yeah, we're gonna do it because I, uh, I already decided in my head. I'll just be honest with you guys. Um, we are going to do Mutant's Rehab. Now, you guys know I do like Mutant. I have bought plenty of their products so far. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep my hat on. <laughs> I like my hat. So, we have done a few of their products so far and we are going to do a few more. Uh, also, look forward to me uploading and finishing my review on Universal Nutrition's Animal Line. It is their Fury pre-workout. If you guys don't know, they are coming out with a new line for that, uh, reformulating it along with 5% uh, Nutrition's coming out with their new reformulated Kill It, Kill It Reloaded. So uh, we're going to keep our eyes on that. Um, we're going to start doing like screenshots of Instagram of their posts to keep you guys updated. I will learn. <laughs> I will learn. I'll, I will invest my time in learning how to uh, overlay pictures into the video, but also still having my voice. So that'll be a learning experience for me. I'm sure it's just a YouTube video way. Uh, as in me watching a YouTube video, not actually learning things like, like the oldies did. Um, and screw it. We're going to do a live review of something I got in the mail uh, today, actually. Muscle Tech's Nitro Tech Crunch Bar. Um, this was just a free sample from an order I got from uh, one of my clients. I ordered him some stuff, and I will show you guys that at the end. Uh, but let's let's dig into this. Mm. Tastes good. It tastes really really good. Very sweet. Birthday cake. If you didn't know, birthday cake. Muscle Tech, Nitro Tech Crunch. Birthday cake's the flavor. Macros, one bar is 32 grams. Let me get in the frame. <laughs> calories, 130 calories. 45 calories of that is fat. So a little under half of it. You got 5 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of protein. So definitely not optimal. Low, low in protein. This is something maybe you shove down your pie hole before you work out. Get a little bit of insulin spike. Or to kind of 
hold you over and tell your post-workout shake or meal. Preferably meal, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, yeah, I like it. Hmm. It's a lot smaller than the, uh, the cinnamon ones we have, the Cinnabon. Uh, I'll, I'll post a screenshot at the end of the video. If you need to, just skip, back, or skip forward to the end and come back if you want. Uh, Subs.com was doing a promotion where it was buy one, get one free on their 20 count box, something like that. Information at the end of the video. Delicious products, absolutely phenomenal. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. That's all I really got for you guys. Um, I have, I think I'm going to do the Whey and Oats by Optimum Nutrition. I think I'm going to do this video tomorrow morning. Just a quick one. I'll give you guys a shout out on Instagram so you guys know it's coming. But I'm telling you now. Um, but you won't see this video until after I do that shout out. So I guess that makes sense. But... Besides that, we are creeping on 12 minutes, cut it down probably 10. Uh, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I appreciate you guys stopping in as always. It really helps me out. It, um, it motivates me. It motivates me to keep making videos, to keep bettering myself and increasing my knowledge. As always, you can go to subs.com and get all your supplement needs. Subs.com, cool hat right there. Use discount code SANS, it'll save you 10%. Blah, 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 blah. All that money will go back into this channel so I can keep buying you guys products for me to review and for you to decide if you like it or not. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys follow me on all my Instagram and all the, all the Facebooks and the Instagrams and the Twitters. And If you like the content, subscribe. I really, I really do appreciate it as we make our slow climb to 100 subs. Um, I haven't decided when we're going to do our next giveaway. Uh, I know we're creeping up on 500 views right now, so maybe at 500 we'll do something. Um, I just, I really need a user, I need you guys to have interaction with me. Uh, if you guys want me to do a supplement giveaway or a gift card giveaway at 500 views, comment below. If I see it, I'll do it. If you guys want me to do it at 1,000 or at 50 subscribers, something like that, let me know. Comment below. Or, you know, message me on any of my social media apps, that's fine. Comment on any of my social media apps, that's fine. But that's really it. Uh, I'm probably, let's see, tomorrow's Thursday for me. Uh, so probably Saturday I'm going to do another physique update video. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that, I will definitely let you guys see it. Um, I know I've shown people in person, the my last one, and then I had one prior that I showed you guys. But, um... Yeah, just let me know if you guys want to know. I am, I'm getting a little bit bigger. I'm putting a little bit of muscle on. I can tell. Uh, I can feel it. Uh, arms are growing. Triceps are growing. Uh, chest has grown a lot. Uh, I've definitely noticed new gains. New gains! Um, in the form of lower pec development because I've never really done dips. But uh, dips are part of my life now. And I'm happy with that. So, that is officially it, guys. Sorry for my rants, but, you know... If you didn't like it, you wouldn't be watching. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.